So what exactly is a monochord? Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I've been getting, uh, not a lot, but there have been a few comments uh, questioning uh, these particular instruments as being referred to as monochords. And today I wanted to make this video just to address uh, what a monochord is. Uh, is this a monochord? Uh, is this a monochord, albeit very crudely built, um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to get into today. A monochord literally just means single stringed instrument, and it's widely attributed to Pythagoras uh, that he used single stringed monochords to experiment with sound, and he was the one that figured out that if you half the length of a string at the same tension, you will end up with uh, a note one octave higher than the note that the string itself is tuned to. And he used something which was uh, vaguely similar to this. This is a, a $6, 20 minute uh, mock-up of uh, one of the original monochords, which is basically just uh, a string with a weight suspended over two bridges. Uh, the weight is used to keep a constant pressure across the string, which is why uh, you wouldn't tie it off on both ends because when you put the, the bridge in in the middle, it actually increases the tension over the strings. Uh, and that's really it. He would have multiple bridges and he would move them back and forth along here, along the instrument, basically just to experiment with sound and how the length of the string in between the bridges I was affected by where the uh, central bridge was placed. This setup, which uh, there are mo modern versions of this that are made much nicer than this. This is just a quick mock-up. Uh, this is technically a monochord and that is a single string instrument. Uh, this might be considered the original monochord in uh, at least all of the research that I could find. Um, there were single stringed instruments before Pythagoras threw a string across a few bridges, but he was the first person to uh, really dive into why sound is the way it is on a stringed instrument. So we consider this to be the original monochord. Uh, so when we come to this one, um, okay, I don't really know why people refer to this as a monochord. Uh, strictly speaking, these instruments are not monochord at all. They don't fit the technical definition at all. And they don't really even relate to Pythagoras in any kind of meaningful way. I have several videos <laughs> where these are called Pythagorean monochords. And the reason I call them that is because the reason I refer to them as Pythagorean monochords is more for people who are interested in sound healing or meditation so that they can find the videos amongst all of the other videos similar to this which also call them monochords. Uh, now, uh, you <laughs> some people have said, uh, what about the term polychord? Well, it is, this is technically, that's a closer uh, to what this truly is, although the term polychord is actually reserved for a specific instrument. But the most accurate way to describe this style of instrument would be to call it a monotonal polychord, just that it's many strings tuned to one note. So the only way that these instruments are really connected to Pythagoras other than the idea that they be used for healing is that they do display some of the fundamental principles that Pythagoras discovered when he was working with his monochords. When you play these instruments, depending on where you play the instrument, where you are plucking the string as you're playing it, it will produce a completely different sound. That sound is always based on the original note, but you will hear uh, differences in the way that sound uh, comes across, I'm the best way to put it. And so you end up with these overtones as you're playing the, these multiple strings all tuned to the same note, you end up with these rich overtones that are 
and I am not a musician <laughs> in the strictest sense. I'm not, at least I'm not great on musical theory. So once again, I'm not an expert. This are tons of people who are way more knowledgeable. And I will attempt to find uh, some links to it and put it in the description if you're interested. Uh, but essentially, the when you're playing this instrument, you're hearing what I refer to as like the bass note of the instrument, what it's, each string is tuned to, but then you're also hearing the overtones that can be produced with that string. I don't know how many overtones they that you can actually hear off an instrument like this. So these modern uh, monochords, or what we refer to as Pythagorean monochords, they are beautiful instruments, droning instruments, and they create incredibly rich array of sound. Are they monochords? No, they are not. Uh, but it's a case of sort of co-opting an older word and sort of forcing it onto uh, something that's come up now. These instruments, as far as I can tell, haven't been in wide use much past like 30 years ago. There have been all kinds of polychords, but monotonal polychords or monotoned polychords where you have dozens or hundreds of strings tuned to the same note specifically for the purpose of droning and meditation, chanting. As far as I've been able to find, um, they don't, they're not an old instrument or an iteration of this instrument. They're, yeah, <laughs> this is a new thing. So we're taking an old word and uh, applying it to a new instrument, even though it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to, to go from the, you know, a single stringed instrument to a multi-stringed instrument. And they are used for completely different things. This is Pythagoras's original monochord was designed as a, a scientific instrument to discover different properties of sound, and harmonics. Whereas these modern instruments are used for meditation and healing and that, or curiosity. <laughs> I know some people who like to sleep to them. Uh, the, the larger monochords, especially the bed ones, which I'll, you know, I'll, I don't know, throw some video in here, but the larger, the larger bed monochords is an amazing experience. If you ever get a chance, even if you don't believe in the healing properties of sound or any of that more esoteric type stuff, uh, the woo-woo as you might call it, um, definitely if you're ever able to find somebody who has a full-sized bed monochord, have them play it for you when you're laying on it because it is a visceral experience. The sound goes right to your core because you're in physical contact with it, that deep humming resonance if you're able to find one that has a really deep tone. It, it's almost like being at a concert when you're standing in front of a speaker and the bass just kind of like hits you right in your stomach. It's like that, but it's very gentle and it is very easy to get lost in that sound. So I guess in conclusion, uh, for anybody who's comments on the videos, you know, saying this isn't a monochord or questioning if it is or isn't a monochord, the straight answer is no, it's not a monochord. It is, uh, that term has sort of been uh, co-opted and uh, sort of blanket placed over these healing instruments, uh, not for any other purpose other than that uh, Pythagoras liked to heal with sound and that when all these strings are strummed together and depending on how they're strummed and plucked, they can produce uh, effects that Pythagoras would have discovered using this instrument. And that's about as far as the similarity goes. So, <laughs> that is that. Uh, I wanna thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this video didn't drag on too long. And yes, this is a jar of pickled ginger. <laughs> because I didn't have a, a random, very light weight um, kicking around. And I'm sorry I didn't play this for you. Um, because it's not actually attached to a body of some kind, the sound it produces is extremely weak, even if I'm using my dedicated 
shotgun microphone. It's very hard to pick it up. I'll throw some links into the description to other channels where they're showing or doing demonstrations of this kind of instrument with much higher quality. This is just to get the point across. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and uh, yeah, take care.